Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue on with our parts list that uh, we're going to be using for the Intel Raptor Lake CPU build with the NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. So in order to facilitate the overclocking and everything else I want to do, I want to use a large sale case. So that's when we come in with the half 700 EVO. So in the past, if you've been following me for quite a while or on the forums you saw, I normally build with large scale cases. And the last one I used was the Mountain Mods case, which allowed me to have two um, large scale radiators, you know, two 480 um, radiators inside that would power um, or cool my GPU and CPU. So um, I want always like flexibility when I'm building things for a lot of air cooling and overclocking and such like that. So instead of going with the Mountain Mods case again, decide to try off the half. Um, so this case is large enough that I'll still be able to uh, mount multiple radiators in different orientations. Um, and still also if I wanted to use a air cooling uh, method that without using the radiators at all, I'll be able to do that. So that's when this case um, looks pretty good. It does have some RGB functionality inside of it built in, which um, my old Mountain Mods case did not. So I'm going to open it up and we'll take a look at it. It is a large case just to give um, perspective. So as you can see, you can't even see the arcade cabinet. It's right in front, in front of it right now. It's a pretty large case, but that's what it's gonna facil facilitate the airflow um, quite well. Um, if you recall in the last video, I already said um, the power su uh, supply that we'll be using will be the Thermaltake 1650 watt power supply. So that's what we'll be using to power the unit. And that should have enough um, amperage to take care of everything we need inside. So without further ado, let's get this cut open. And then there are four of those on all sides that come out of the box. And um, once you take that off, you can lift it up. But before I do that, I will let's move this out of the way. Just briefly turn this this way. Let's see if you can see those specs there. So you can just simply see the dimensions, uh, motherboard support, mini ITX, micro ATX, ATX, ETX, SSI, CEB, and SSI, EEB. So basically any motherboard you want, it'll fit. Eight expansion slots. Um, this does support um, vertical and horizontal GPU mounting, fan support, top, two 200 millimeters, um, three 140, six um, 120 millimeters. Front, you have two 200 millimeters that are built in. Um, you got rear, you got two 120. You have a bottom bracket that has um, the space for three 120s. I think one's already down there. You have a sound mounting for additional four more um, fans, radiator support, you have um, up top of the case, you can put two 360 radiators at the top or one 420 at the top of the case. At the rear, you can put one 240. The bottom, you can put another um, 360. Side mount, you can go up to a 480 um, red uh, and everything else loaded for the side. CPU coolers, standard, you're gonna have all, any kind of space you need for your CPU cooler, power supply. It'll fit any power supply. And once you see, when I put the 4090 in there, you'll see you have plenty enough space for um, vertical or horizontal mount orientation for your, um, your graphics card. And um, obviously it comes with a um, riser cable for if you want to go um, vertical mount for your GPU. It comes with that built in and it's a 4.0 riser cable. Okay, that being said, 
let me get it unboxed and we'll go from there. Okay, so once you take off the box and take off those tabs I mentioned earlier, you see inside the unit is inside a nice bubble wrap. At the top of the um, unit is the accessory box. So that contains all your mounting screws, everything else that's needed there. So there you go. So all of that's there. So I will finish up the unboxing. All right, so the case has now been unboxed and you can see inside you get this very nice um, clear tempered glass view on the side panel there. Um, you can see the accessory of the rouser box included. They're sitting on top of some styrofoam. Now, it's not my intent to do a full born review of the half. Um, I'm pretty sure if you want to go see detailed air compression um, rates and decibel sounds, you can go, do, go ahead and do that. Just want to show off the case that I'll be using, but it just as a quick aside, um, it is very spacious. So for example, to get inside, you just simply come to this back panel right here, take off the thumb screw, pull back. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. This top panel comes off, which is mesh there, actually metal. And then you can see you can mount um, anything that's out there, fans and such if you need. But the real treat right here, inside you have enough space for two 360 rads right there. So, just simply pull back a little bit there. And that slides off. And once you slide off right here, you can see you have plenty of clearance inside of here for your radiators here. You have space down at the bottom down here for your, if you wanted to mount a radio here. This right here panel can come off and be readjustable. So I can take this off if I want and set it right inside here. Um, included inside of here is one fan already. So let's see if I can quickly get this out. And so here you can see your um, riser cable as such. Set this to the side. Styrofoam. And over here on the side, is a mirror that they give you for different effects that can slide out. You can take that out and put it down here if you want. You could move it over there if you want, or you can just take it out if you don't feel the need for it at all, but it's a nice effect for um, any kind of like um, mirror or, or displays you want to do inside here. So another thing, this is adjustable. I'll have to unlock it, I see. But you can tilt that um, forward to give you space um, for your, um, if you want the fans to point more towards your GPU, you can adjust that, tilt it up. I'll need to go inside and adjust it. Everything in there is meant to be used without any tools. So simply coming in here, unscrewing it, you can take out your components and put it back in. So the whole case is meant to be set up. Go ahead and line this back up.
Sure, it sits back in there. So cool. Um, let's turn the case around so you can see the other side of it. Before I flip the entire case around, I just wanted to show that you just have two adjustable bolts on the side of that that you have to loose. And once you adjust that, you can move this up and down to adjust um, fans. If you choose to put other fans down here, um, they can blow up in the case. Once again, these covers come off. So if you don't want those covers there, if you don't want to put any SSDs there or whatever else, any mounting there, take those off. You can put, replace it with other fans to have more airflow coming in. But the case comes with, by default, fan here, two fans here, and two fans at the top over there. So that being said, let's get the case rotated. All right, so here is the back, uh, or I should say the side of the case here. Everything, once again, as I said, can easily be adjusted by this adjusting the um, thumb controllers, if you will. You just change it like that, and it comes up. It comes with um, fan hubs and ARGB controllers and such already built in. Plenty of space for, once again, for your um, power supply. Um, and once you're done configuring everything else, you can just simply put this back inside. Just like that. So you don't really need any tools unless you are adjusting um, any additional things with your, your radiators and such. So all of these are different mounting points for SSDs or hard drives, whatever else you want. For me, for example, since I'm going to be using M.2s, I'll be taking these loose, setting them to the side, and there, right here, um, is that glass mirror, or I should say that mirror. So I can simply take that out with the thumb screws there, and then I can have a radiator mounted to both of those sides here. And that runs all the way through. So. Plenty enough space um, routing for the cables that are pre-routed inside of here. Pretty good and everything else. Um, more space up there for more mounting. Those thumb screws there might be the only ones, if you couldn't get them loose with your hands, that you may need the tool to loosen, but that's just about it. Okay, that being said, let's take a look at the front of the case. All right, so here we are on the front of the, the case here. Um, probably the one of the biggest features for this particular case in itself. You have your headphone power um, connections right here. You have a nice um, display that you can configure to show either some pre-assigned options like CPU speed, CPU cooling, and such there, or you can upload your own GIF or image. Haven't decided what I'll put there yet, but I'll try to find something interesting. Another thing is that each one of these panels here is tempered glass um, that can be controlled by the software, so you can have it light up to a solid color or any kind of effect you want, so each one of these has a nice little effect there. And then on the side here, you have your USB and you have is that what a S um, connector right there. So um or C. But so you got some more USB ports over there. So all in while you have everything you need um, to be functionally in the front with nice um, RGB and a very nice display that I think is probably the centerpiece for for this case itself. So that being said, um, let's just take a look at the back of the case and then we'll get everything reassembled. All right, so let's take a look at the back of the case here. So you can see in the upper right, the fans that came pre-installed on the case here. Right there, you have your 
expansion bay there where your motherboard is going to be coming out. Over here, you have your power supply. Um, these screws right here, they get caught, so they're not going to fall out. You can simply slide your power supply in and screw it. You don't even need any screws for that, so that's a very nice touch. Um, right here, airflow coming through. Let's come around to the side. And for your slots, you simply just pull this back. And these simply just pull forward. You don't have to use any kind of tools for that. Slide out for whatever needs you have. And then after that, once you're done, you just close that back and it locks in place. So a very nice, elegant um, mechanism for putting in GPUs or capture cards, whatever else you need to put in there without having to use tools and such. So that works out quite well. Um, so I'm going to flip it back around. There's one other thing I want to show you inside of the case, and then we'll get everything reinstalled. All right. One thing I want to show you um, that I didn't mention earlier was um, I mentioned that you could take this up and move it to wherever you wanted it to be. Also, there is this panel right here that was over here pre-installed. So I moved that panel, installed it right here. Once again, no screws needed. Just take it, flip it, and readjust it through. And then I'm going to mount uh, a radiator there. And then you can see clearly now these huge fans that came with the actual um, chassis. So just want to show you that, that you really you have a lot of flexibility with this case. If, you, if I didn't want, I could take both of those panels out here and here, remove them completely. If I just wanted to put a radiator at the bottom down there without any fans um, inside of that unit and just have the fans for the radiator mounted, you have that option as well. As once again, like I said, you have options for two um, 360 uh, radiators up top. So a lot of flexibility with this case and it should, um, it should satisfy the needs for, for what I'm doing and I have no doubt it'll be able to keep the components clear and cool while I'm doing whatever overclocking I may need to do. All right, so let's get everything reassembled. All right, everything's back assembled, um, panels back in and everything else. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that yes, with the case, it does come with a user manual. So just for those who might have wanted to know, yes, you do get a full size manual. That explains everything that if you're not um, used to doing things with computers or building it yourself. It does go into detail of how to take everything else. One other thing I didn't mention, but just so you know, this panel right here is detachable. Um, you can remove it, especially if you want to clean filters or anything else, you can detach that as well. So, uh, so everything is basically modular and can be adjusted with this case. So that's it. Um, I'll be coming back soon with another video with the next set of components that we'll be putting inside. And we'll be starting to put everything together, um, but we still got a few more components I want to go over um, that's going to be inside the bill. So as always, thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to always uh, leave a comment on the video. I'll get back as soon as I can. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Be safe. Peace.